I have three cards. Two of which are jokers, and the third is an ace. You need to keep an eye on the ace. Now the ace is at the top. If I take it at the bottom and ask you where the ace is, you will probably answer that it is at the bottom. But actually, there is a joker at the bottom. A joker at the top. And a joker in the middle, too. It has always been at the bottom. Now tell me where are the jokers? There's an ace at the bottom. There's an ace at the top. And there's an ace in the middle. You didn't see them well, but the jokers are at the bottom. Okay, the first card was a joker, and the second was an ace. What do you think is the third card? The joker, ace. No, actually it's a five. So, I had an ace, the joker and the five. First we take a five, then a joker and an ace. We'll take two cards, a five and a joker. We'll show the joker, and then we'll take the five. We will show one joker twice. And the audience thinks that we took the joker, and we have two jokers. Then we'll show an ace and put it in place. Then we do a double lift. Then we'll take two cards. an ace and a joker and put it at the bottom. And the audience I think we have an ace at the bottom. And then we have to show the top card. For this we take the top card with the bottom one to show the joker. Then put them in place and show the same joker again. Then we'll ask where the jokers are. The audience speaks at the top and in the middle. Then we do the same job but we will hide the joker. At this moment, the audience will not understand anything. Therefore, we will show two joker and ace cards. The viewer thinks that the third one is the joker. But at this moment we will show the top five. And the audience will be shocked. 